comes to the Golden Boy, the name that's usually associated with it is Oscar de la Hoya, the most successful Mexican-American boxer in all of history. Now, if I were to tell you that there was another Golden Boy, but in MMA, would you believe me? Some would. Some wouldn't. But it just happens to be so. Edmund, the Golden Boy Shabazian, who boasts a record of 11-0 with 9 KOs, happens to only have 4 fights in the UFC and is already ranked 9 in the top 10 and one of the best divisions that the UFC has to offer. He's defeated some of the best in that division, Darren Stewart, Jack Marshman, Brad Tavares, and soon to be many more. Now, he was supposed to have another fight. Um, well, he got canceled a couple of times. That fight was supposed to be against Derek Brunson. It was supposed to go down UFC 248 underneath the Romero out of Sonya card, but that got scrapped, and... They rescheduled it for UFC Fight Night in Portland. That got scrapped as well due to the coronavirus epidemic. Now, that fight's kind of in limbo. It won't happen for a while. Or it might actually happen pretty soon, depending on what transpires right now during this epidemic. Dana White has claimed multiple times that he's ready to have some fights on his private island that he's rented out. Facilities are being under construction, so hopefully that fight can actually be underway pretty soon. But the reason why I want to talk about Edmund is because he's got a lot going on for him. His trainer is Edmund Tamarian, and say what you want to say about him being one of the worst coaches in UFC. He used to coach Ronda Rousey, who's one of the most successful women MMA fighters in all of U uh, all of MMA history, which means that being able to Im implement what he had taught Ronda to Edmund, Edmund already being as talented as he is, the sky is the limit for this young man. And the reason why I believe that he can be a champion in about two years max is because he has all the potential. He started his journey about 10, 12 years ago, training with his brother. It started with grappling, and he soon implemented Muay Thai, boxing, and wrestling. He didn't all learn it at once. He wanted to perfect his craft and one martial art, then move on to another one, and another one, and another one. That doesn't happen with many fighters. A lot of fighters just like to mix everything up all at once just so they can be able to get their MMA career up and running as fast as possible. Now, since this happened 12 years ago, Edmund's currently 22. You do the math, he was pretty young when he actually started training, which means that he's been working to become the youngest UFC champion in history next to John Jones if he does break it for most for the most of his life, you know? And if he worked this long... And you start your career off in one of the most successful, if not the successful, most successful MMA promotion in the world at this age, at the age of 22, it means that there's a whole lot more for you to actually learn. It means that what you know right now can be even more that you can be able to learn in the future, depending on what kind of coaching that he has. And I know Edmund's a good coach. But imagine if you were in another, you know, another super camp such as ATT or Jackson Wink or uh, AKA or some of the other gyms out there. This guy and you know, this young man, and I'm twenty, I'm twenty three. He's only a year younger than me. He can be the next big thing in the UFC. Since he's ranked number nine, I like to see him face another opponent in the top ten, maybe two two opponents at the top ten max, then work his way towards an opponent in the top five. After he beats that opponent in a top five, he can be able to contend for a title. Depending on how long he really wants to take, this can happen in one and a half years or two years. I'd really like to happen in two years because I really want Edmund to mold his craft even more. Um, he's still really young, and he has all the time in the world to become champion. And I know he really wants to beat that John Jones record of becoming the UFC's youngest champion um, in all of history. But you got to take the time. Uh, in order to perfect your craft, if you really want to beat someone like Israel Adesanya that's really on a tear right now. Now, knowing Israel, he just beat Romero um, in UFC uh, 248, and he's probably going to fight Co Apollo Costa next, most likely going to beat him. After that, he's most likely going to fight Jared Cannonier, depending on if he gets through that fight or not. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him face... Robert Whitaker yet again, but Robert Whitaker has a potential fight lined up with um, Darren Till, and that's another opponent that Israel Adesanya could possibly face in the future. So 
Israel Adesanya has a whole line of opponents to actually get through before Edmund can be able to fight him. And that might take another year and a half for that uh, possible matchup to happen. It may not happen depending on if Israel actually moves up the light heavyweight. But uh, the cards are currently played by Edmund. And if he waits and be smart about it, then he has a really bright future ahead of him. And he might be the youngest UFC champion in all of history. So, like I said, there's a lot of things to be excited about when it comes to Edmund. He's a little bit under the radar right now just because of the opponents that he's actually faced in the past. But if he keeps on facing opponents such as Darren Brunson or anyone else in the top 10, the top 5, then the sky's the limit for him and he can be a champion. Which is why I wanted to make this video about him because I feel like a lot of people have been overlooking him. A lot of people don't think that he can face someone um, of the likes of Israel Adesanya or Yoel Romero or Paulo Costa or Jared Cannonier, and the list goes on and on. But before he does face any of those guys in the top top five, he does need to train a whole lot more and he does need more time to perfect his craft before um, you know, making that leap um, getting over the hump in order to face those type of guys. But Edmund, the golden boy Shabazian, he can be the next golden boy, but in the MMA, he can have that type of success that Oscar De La Hoya had during this time in the boxing world. He can be the next golden boy of the MMA, and I believe he will He will do so. Depending on how long his MMA career will last, it might be another 10 years, it may be another 13 years, but hey, the golden boy is here, and his ceiling's already shining. And I can already tell that there's going to be a golden horizon win for him at the end of the day when he finally gets that belt. But I appreciate you guys for listening to me. Um, I'm going to make more content in the future, in the near future, and uh, continue to keep on pumping out these videos no matter what. So thanks, guys.